Hey guys, I know it's been a while and I promised you some more videos, so here we are. Today we're going to do something kind of interesting. We're going to make a timer. Uh, this will be a good example of how to do many things in the Verilog language, including basic arithmetic, uh, non-blocking assignment, uh, comparative logic using greater and less than, uh, Boolean logic, how that works. Um, we're going to get into registers, which are kind of like variables from traditional languages. We're going to get into uh, some more of the syntactic elements of the Verilog language, um, such as begin and end to define code blocks. Uh, it'll be a pretty quick example and pretty interesting, so you'll be able to actually see the thing on your board. We're not going to run it at 50 megahertz, unlike the uh, oscillator that's on the board itself you'd never be able to see it at that speed. This will be usable for a lot of different projects that you want to do. Even if you are developing something that seems completely unrelated to a timer itself, this will be useful for delays, it'll be useful for um, staged logic, it'll be useful for many things like that. So let's go ahead and begin. This is where we left off in our last example. It's a basic uh, AND gate that is controlled by two of the switches. There's no actual triggering. This is not clock-based logic or anything, so it's very simplistic. Let's go ahead and begin by getting rid of the assigned statements. This was the heart of our last configuration, but no longer necessary. We're going to use the same inputs and the same outputs, but we are going to need a couple of uh, locations where we can store a value and reference it later. The first one is a buffer for the LED array itself. Uh, this is because we're going to be displaying a number on our LEDs and we cannot read from outputs. So I'm going to create something that I'm going to call OBuff, short for output buffer. Um, and this does need to be a, an array or a bus rather. Now, reg is how you define a numeric variable. Um, this is a location where you can write to and read from. It is something you will be using very frequently. Um, as far as lengths are concerned, it works the same way as uh, we talked about in the previous example. Most significant bit first, least significant bit second. The number of elements between the two is how wide your bus or array is. Okay, so the second one you saw me do here was a delay. We're going to be using a 24-bit number to uh, introduce as a delay between each time we update the value on the LEDs. This way, uh, we'll be able to actually see the values change instead of it just being a flickering value way beyond the capability of the human eye to see. That'll make sense here in a second. Okay. So we have to assign values to these registers, otherwise they're in an unknown state when this thing begins. And if you add one to an unknown state, you can't. I mean, it just doesn't work that way. Uh, so we're going to set them up to equal zero to start with. Um, you do this by defining an initial block, and blocks are designated by the code between a begin and end um, if you're familiar with C, for instance, begin is the equivalent of the opening curly bracket, end is the equivalent of the closing curly bracket. It's the same exact idea. Okay, so we're going to set our output buffer for the LED array equal to all zeros. Um, I'm defining this explicitly. Uh, like we said last time, the 8 signifies how many digits I'm defining. Um, it's the same width as the actual array itself. B signifies that I'm giving a binary value after this, so it's all zeros or ones. And this fills the entire thing with zero. Now Verilog is smart, though, and if you just put something like this, delay equals zero, even though it's 24 bits, it's going to fill the entire array with zero. If you don't specify either, um, say, a binary or hex, you can use hex two by using an H instead of a B, then it, it's smart enough to just assume that you mean decimal and fills out the value appropriately. If I put uh, 255 in here, we'd get eight ones, for instance. 
Okay. 